What's new, Pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's new? Hiya, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here because the Citroen has decided to randomly throw the EML every now and then, like this. Yes. Probably should unplug the uh, head up display and see what's up with the shitter. For which, I'm going to use this. Which is, it's a bit of an old shit of this, but I mean, I've had this for about 15 years or so. But it's actually pretty good because it reads most things to a degree. Um, it's massively out of date though, but it should work. Anyway, it's an Obda 2 connector, which connects to there with a serial port, but I don't need to demonstrate. That plugs into there and then that plugs into the car. Bike. Magic. And then we turn the ignition on without starting the vehicle. Followed by turning the scanner on. And this process, waiting for it to boot up. It's not too bad actually on this one. So, I want diagnostics. OBD2. See which uh, KW or whatever it is. It does some stuff. Like I have to show this. I mean, everyone's got an OBD2 scanner. When I bought this, it was like about three or 400 quid or something. And now you can buy something that goes onto your phone with Bluetooth that'll do nearly as much or just as much or probably more for a fiver with a free app. I know because I've actually got one on my phone, but I haven't got the uh, the doofer for it. I don't know where it is. So anyway, right, that's, that's the protocol that it's got to follow. So enter, don't want to erase shit. So let's see, code's found one. What's the betting that this is going to be a code for the catalyst? Yes! I don't know that that was going to be the case. So we need to repair this. And the easiest way to repair it, the easiest way to fix it, there we go. Fixed. Now, as anyone who works on cars knows, that is a permanent fix. But we're not going to stop there. Because the catalyst has thrown up a cord. Let's see if it stays off. It'll come back on at some point, more than likely. Fuck off. Fuck off. But it's staying on. It's staying off for now. Don't know how long for. Also, we've got... I'm surprised it came on because this head-up display that I put in, that we unplugged before, I'm pretty sure that that does do resets engine management lights i'm sure i remember reading something in there so this catalyst has probably been shagged for a while but that's been resetting it. it didn't reset it this time in time or something i don't know i don't know possibility i'm just guessing but we'll do more with that we'll, we'll sort it out properly and to investigate it further we need to come around to the front of the vehicle because our catalyst is there it's that big shitter there and i mean i've already cleaned it out in a video a long time ago um which obviously hasn't really done much because it's still coming up as fault. Uh, but we're going to repair that today. So first, to, before I do anything, I'll have to remove this bumper. Like you have to put everything on this car. Actually, before I do that, I need to put the shagger in the designated shagger position. Yes. And perform sound test. <laughs> And as you can clearly hear and see, the motorcycle exhaust, which was one of the first videos I did, or the first video I did, uh, it sounds absolutely amazing. But I think I can improve on that. But first, like I say, get back to where I was before I started fucking about. I've got to take the bumper off, so I've got to take that out, which is a 10. Clip. More 10s, and there's a 10 underneath. I'll start with the underneath ones. There's one on each corner need to be removed quite ferociously on. you shitter there's one on each corner there's one of them there's one on the side there's one in the middle as you can see 
taking them three out. There is meant to be five actually because it's meant to be these ones as well. But on mine, they broke. I've just got the one in the middle and then the two on the edges. So go back to the top now and commence removal of these ones. And this last shitter. Yes. And yes. And if you're fortunate, then you should have some clips that hold the bumper on behind here, if they're not broken. And this isn't how you do it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then removal of the connections is automatic from these lights. Right, so let's move that out of the way. And now we can see the catalyst in all its glory. All its rusty glory. Fuck's sake. Right, so having a quick look at it now, we can see that we have only got one, two, three, Four bolts at the top. Uh, you can't really see it because it's dark. But four bolts at the top. Two at the bottom, and then one holding it as a bracing piece. Uh, and that's pretty much all we've got to do. And just unplug the lamber sensor, which is somewhere up there. So that all sounds relatively nice and easy until you zoom in and look at the bolts. In typical exhaust fashion, they are exhausted and covered in rust. But we're going to have a go anyway, and I'll see how far I get before having to get some heat onto it. So to give it an half a chance, even though it's not going to work, we've got half a chance of coming undone without getting um, mad heats on it. I'll give it a wire brush off and a bit of a WD-40 or a cheap alternative as pictured. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to give it a bit of a clean and see what happens. More the merrier. Yes. And as if by magic, after letting it soak in for a bit. Nothing happens. Looks like I'm gonna have to get some heat onto that. For which I'm gonna use this contraption, which is fresh from eBay, China. Brilliant piece of kit though. It, um, it's an induction heater. Just try and get it in shot there. Yes. Look at that. Um, you put the offending bolt in between there and then you press this button and it uses the power of induction to warm stuff up like I'll try and demonstrate I have used this before on the channel actually I think but this is what it does see it getting hot whoa now this is quite a big bolt actually and you're only meant to hold it on for a couple of seconds well it's about a minute something tops um, and then you have to do it again so I'm gonna get it as hot as I can and see if I can undo it yes awesome and now looking at this you can see that most of the bolt was in fact just rust and it's, it's disappeared uh, so let's do the same with the other one I'll get that out and then we'll move on to the other bolts that are holding the shitter in place. Yes. You know what, that is one of the best fucking tools you can buy. So we've got the exhaust disconnected from the catalyst. And the catalyst inside here, it's like honeycomb ceramic sort of bullshit that cleans the exhaust, allegedly. Uh, now what my intention was with this is, um, I'm not changing the catalyst. I'm doing an experiment where I'm taking the honeycombs out of the catalyst to see if it makes any difference. This catalyst is pretty shagged. Um, I was going to take it all the way off. So the plan was, is I was going to unbolt all this around here, all these bolts, but these bolts, I feel like there's a possibility that they're going to snap, which that had ruined me Friday afternoon. So I'm fucking that idea off. Uh, and what I'm going to do instead, is, instead of undoing it and taking it all the way off, is I'm going to 
set the lambda sensor out if that on does, which it has done in the past. I set the lambda sensor out, and I'm just going to break the ceramic up and try and catch it in a box underneath, and then get millions of pounds for weighing it in because it's got platinums in it uh, and, and shit like that. So instead of taking it all the way off, I was going to cut round it, cut it out, take the ceramic out nice and pretty, weld it up, and fuck about. But I'm not going to bother doing that now because. Like I said, them bolts, are, it's going to ruin my day if one of them snaps. Um, so I'm going to do it this way instead. The catalyst itself, like I said, is pretty shagged anyway. Uh, it's going to need a new one. So when that, when, when it comes to that, well, when I put a new one in, um, I can get one supplied and fitted for less than what I can get one for. Uh, so I probably won't do that myself. So someone else can struggle with them. But we'll see. We might, might end up doing it. But for now, I'm just going to break the catalyst up. So set the sensor off, unplug the shitter, 22 mil. And I'm going to pretend that I haven't undone this previous to filming. That was really tight. Speed with the removal. Yeah. Now I've only put a tray underneath it to catch the valuable innards of this catalyst. And I was hoping, like I said, I was going to take it off and cut it open because, like a two-stroke, if I got all the catalyst out of here, see the shape of this, it's designed to be a perfect expansion chamber, um, which will give it more power if I manage to get it all out. Um, not sure if I'm going to manage to do that, but I'm going to give it a go. But I need to catch the catalyst because, like I said, oh, I'm going to take that to scrap all from the yard and see what I can get for it because I'm a tight bastard. Um, so as you can see, we've got that there, and then... Yes. 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 Yeah. I just got to keep on doing that until until all the catalyst comes out. So this is going quite well, as you can see. This now goes all the way through. Let me see what. Yes. Yes. So, uh, I just also like to mention that I've got a bit left to go chasing this cat away. Uh, but like I mentioned, this is obviously, this is just a temporary measure. This is just a temporary thing for an experiment. And we sincerely do not condone this kind of behavior at Stupid Blow Stupid Videos. It's just irresponsible and appalling in every single way. So don't do this. This is I'm doing this so you don't have to do this. And uh, we'll get on with it anyway. And I think that is pretty much done. Um, just kept on going until I can't get anything more out of it. And this is what I've got out. Riches. Um, this is the stuff. This is your catalyst. And as you can see, it's like honeycomb. And the gases go through that honeycomb. And stuff happens to a magical shit and it cleans them a bit this no idea what it is but that was causing problems that's what made it hard to get out if it wasn't for that it would have smashed out really easy but as you can see there is money that's expects it's all blown away there's money just blown away into the wind there you see uh, but there's a catalyst removed and now it is nice and open like that um that expansion chamber that we spoke about so let's put it back together uh, first before we put it back together fully i'm going to um i'm gonna put the lambda sensor back in like so and what kind of failure would i be if i didn't actually start it up yes and that sounds absolutely awful but i'm hoping that when i put this exhaust back on it won't sound as bad as that so before i put these bolts back in that one will take the bolt back but this one i don't think i'll be able to tighten it up that much so i need to go and get a nut that fits on there to put on top of the just so it tightens up against the light so which is m10 fine if anyone was wondering now, so let's put the exhaust back on and if you notice there, there's like a conical shape where it fits and then that fits over to that conical shape as well and there's like a fiber gasket on there which it's not in the best condition but it looks like it should work so to put it back together it's just a reversal of taking it apart 
connected up like that. You can put a bit of exhaust paste on it if you want as well. Which, if I've got some, I'm going to put on. I'm not going to go to that much effort to find some, but if I've got some, I'll go and put it on. Yes. I managed to find some exhausty paste. You know, it's all going inside. That's a bit enough. Just put a nice, gentle, artistic smear around the circumference of the uh, exhaust, like so. Something like that. This glove, these gloves are a waste of bastard. They're like her dying. Look at this. Look what I'm using. Pissing into the bastard wind, aren't I? That'll do. Nice and neat. Obviously, give them a bit of a lubrication techniques before putting it together. And then, once it's in place, you just reinsert the bolts in a loving manner. And then, get your 14mm and tighten them up. Like, so. So these arcs are quite tight, but oh, shitter, you thick bastard! Why did I do that? False alarm. It's not actually snapped. It was just settling as it sort of tightened up. I thought I'd snap the bolt then, and I was quite angry at myself for tightening up further when it was already quite tight. Uh, so as I mentioned, this side, this bolt on this side here, the nut which is well done to the catalyst is rotten away so i've got another nut just to tighten it up because what i don't fancy is that exhaust coming undone sticking down at 130 miles an hour and pull vaulting the car onto its roof i've already done that once don't fancy doing that again um so i'm gonna tighten everything up and then i'm gonna put that on there just nip that up and now i'm gonna see what it sounds like and just professionally use this 17 millimeter spanner on this uh 16 millimeter nut tighten it up like that and now we can treat ourselves to see so this is not leaking more than anything else oh yeah well that's nice and uh that's nice and happy so uh get that warm a little bit and uh the exhaust uh, that i put on can go off and then, well, I'm going to put the bumper back on, which I'm not going to film, it's a reversal of taking it off. Something like that when completed. So, now the question, right, has it made any difference? Firstly, the only important sound comparison. <laughs> free revving it doesn't really seem to be much different good news is that the um the engine management light hasn't come on yet and it's been running for like long enough to get nearly up to temperature uh, but i think that might change when i start driving it but we'll find out um now another thing is i put a little bit of footage in here now this is going uphill on a slip road but i'm going to go to the same place and compare the before and after see if it's made any difference at all and uh well, we can compare them, can't we? Okay, so I've been driving for, I don't know, a few miles now. I can't tell because my fucking LED's gone on my, uh, on my clock, so I'll have to redo that again at some point. Um, but, not as expected to be honest with you. Um, EML stayed off, could be because it's been reset by the uh, by the HUD. Um, but the other thing is, is it does feel a little bit nippier, right? Surprisingly, I didn't think it would feel any noticeably nippier to be honest with you. Um, but it's at about 2,000 RPM, which I would expect it to be. In my experience, decatting a car. Um, makes it so that it's better at high revs and usually makes it a little bit flat at low revs from what I've had in the past so I'm a bit surprised about that but also I might struggle to do the comparison on the speed test because I don't know if this is coincidence or it's because of the raw power that's been added 
but I'll demonstrate. I don't know if you could tell in the video, I'll just reset this because my fuel's just beeped. Oh, it started working again, by the way. Um, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but I've got a little bit of clutch slip. Um, clutch on this car, to be honest, has been needing changing since I got the shitter. Uh, I've been putting it off and putting it off. Um, looks like I'm going to have to do it because it's actually slipping. Only ever so slightly, but enough to be irritating. All that power that's being spun away. Um, but also, engine movement light hasn't come on yet. So let's see what happens. Oh! Did you hear that? That's the first time the start has fucked up since. In the form of the Fuck off! Record. That's the first time the start has failed and done that since I cleaned it. Uh, hopefully that's just a one off. Uh, but yeah, engine management light hasn't come on yet, and I've driven from Shaw to Bury, so half on motorway, half not on motorway. So I would have thought it would have come on by now, but fingers crossed it is being reset by the hood. Uh, anyway, I'm still going to try and do a comparison of accelerations just to be as scientifically accurate as possible, like I always am, lab controlled conditions and what have you when I make these videos. Um, so at the moment, it does feel a little bit quicker. It feels like it's, and it's surprising, as I said before, between like two and 3,000 RPM is where it seems to be just a force that kicks in and itch in the back of the head so hard. Um, it just seems so much more abrupt. Yeah, probably not the right word to use for describing a Citroen C1 power delivery, but more so than it was before. It does seem a little bit quicker. Um, but I will do, like I said, I will do a lab controlled in the same place, up the same hill as what I did with the catalyst in place. Um, and I'll, I'll put that on right after this uh, workplace team building exercise. And as you can quite clearly see from them side by sides, um, it's made it obviously but negligibly worse. Um, I don't actually think it's done anything really. Uh, it feels a little bit, little bit quicker. Might be just because it sounds a little bit quicker, but that hasn't really made hardly any difference either. Um, so decutting one of these, is it worth it? Is it worth it? No, it, it's not done anything unless unless you're going to follow it up with further modifications which I have to stay tuned for another video that I'm not stay tuned but tune in to a future video for that one uh, but yeah decatting it doesn't seem to have done anything really noticeable on its own um, anyway that's all for this one don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and all the usual sort of shit and, and tell me how, 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 how I'm just an evil person taking the catalyst out uh, like i say it's only temporary it's only temporary so don't worry too much about it see you next time